Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, change the color of your eyes. Okay, I know if you see my previous videos, I know this is kind of random, but I thought I got bored and I didn't know uh, where to make a video of, and so I thought I'm going to start like this tutorial. So, okay, I'm using Paint.net. Well, let's drag this one up. Um, oh, you see. Uh, pinned on that and I've got my uh, image here I just googled this one um so well let's place it there so uh, I zoomed in a couple of times and I'm going to use the lasso tool to select the blue kind of thing so let's zoom in once again okay so now I'm going to roughly select like this blue stuff um yeah so uh maybe you have to do this more carefully or something uh, because this is just uh to show you so i pressed uh control x and it's the same it's the sh so it's the shortcut for um for cut so well, now i'm going to press control v now it will paste it in there so we'll make this layer 2 invisible and I'm going to select like the blue edges again if it's kind of if it's kind of looking like this so now I'm going to cut this again add a new layer paste it in there and use a uh, layer 2 oh select nothing so select layer 2 and press this merge layer down so these will be combined um, so see now it's well there it is still a little bit too blue for for editing this so like this is uh, hopefully enough uh, paste and merge this one down uh, okay so this is just right and uh, this is just uh, good enough for me so what I want to do is uh, insert the layer 3 underneath the uh, eye so well let's zoom out like now you can see like uh, well you can see this but actually the eye is gone so when I check this one you don't see any kind of difference but I'm going to create a new layer uh, and I'm going to do this between uh, the layer 3 so it's the eye layer and the background so the background is actually kind of frame um, so it's very important that layer 3 is above the lay eye layer because otherwise the effect won't work so right now I'm going to use the paintbrush and let's set a paint uh, thingy of 40 or something a radius of 40 and I found this color is kinda nice so I'm just going to over uh, do it okay so as you can see when I remove the background you can see that uh, oh, someone's talking to me. But okay, so you can see that this is just like ugly. I can even fill the full layer, um, like do this. But whoa, that's kind of strange. Uh, well, it looks kind of stupid. Um, oh, damn it. Um, but um, when you uh, do this layer, make it visible. Can you actually don't see that? So when you have the layer filled up or something. You go to the properties of the fill up layer and you go to uh, blending mode and set this one to overlay and press ok so see it's it looks ah, well not bad um, for that quick time so what you want to do is like if I zoom out you can see that the light places are just over the white white uh, things of your eye so you'll uh, use the lasso tool or something it actually doesn't matter uh, make sure you selected the uh, fill up layer and carefully delete all or carefully delete the um, well the over uh, laying blue uh, yeah the overlaying color of blue like this is just too too blue it's just too light 
and it actually doesn't seem that great so like this is just enough uh, while well, you can uh, do it with more time and stuff but okay I think this looks great um so right now when uh, well it looks kind of strange right now but okay so what you can do is blur the eye layer so you get effects and blurs and then this one not too much see otherwise it will be kind of strange um, this eye is not really good for doing that maybe you have to do it uh, or you can also blur the uh, layer filled layer um, like well you, if you uh, fill up the full layer you don't have any effects or something um, but if you do this layer on top of that, oh, that's kind of strange. Um, um, well, now it looks kind of strange. But if you have only the eye uh, in the top of the layer, um, well, it looks better um, when you blur it. But if you have it uh, underneath it, it's actually not neat. So right now you can use the uh, paint bucket tool, select the fill up layer, and now we can just colorize the eye. Like when you do a dark color or even lighter, doesn't matter that much, but it can give you that um, pretty ugly uh, uh, see. Um, right now, here you can see a little bit of blue and there, so it's actually kind of ugly. And this is also well not good. So you can right now, if you have that, you can use the blur. Um, see, you can blur it a little bit out, and it sees it is just a better effect um, but if you lo use a lighter one or a um, like the previous eye was like light blue like this one only then a little bit darker and not that kind of intense blue um, so if it's it's kind if it is kind of the same color it doesn't matter that much to blur because now well you can roughly see see that there is something darker blue around it see I have to zoom in to clearly see the difference like here you have the uh, the uh, colorized blue and here you have the original eye blue but when you zoom out here you can see it also but well it's not it is just in a gap so in this darker place so you actually won't notice it when you zoom out fully so see it was there and there so it doesn't matter that much well if you if you want to do you can just blur it it actually doesn't matter like ah oh, six is great enough well yeah so when I zoom in you can see it's uh, well you can see a little bit of darker blue but well you have to zoom in quite much to see the original eye color and uh, when when uh, when you have printed this out of something or using a kind of a viewer, you cannot see the difference actually. So yeah, it's kind of cool and free. By the way, I'll provide the link to Paint.net in the description. Um, it's a really great program. It's it is like maybe well not even, but it's kind of an advanced paint. And yeah, it's just great, a great program free, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, so thanks for watching this video, uh, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, or email me, um, my email address is in the description of the video, and every other information to uh, even the download link, so thanks for watching this video again, and I'll catch you later.